With the new year comes a new law adding technology that you may notice when driving around the state. Starting this week, the DOT is putting license plate readers on state roads. Law enforcement says these cameras will help them find criminals on the run as well as missing people and children. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie explains not everyone is on board with this plan. License plate readers seem to be everywhere these days. Several cities in Wake County use them, including Raleigh. Police chiefs say they're very effective. Holly Balin is spokeswoman for Flock Safety, one of the biggest vendors. She says the cameras help solve a wide variety of crimes. Everything from, of course, stolen vehicles and vehicle theft, but also violent crimes like homicides and kidnappings and sexual assault, and then property crimes like burglary and theft. However, the cameras were not allowed on state-owned roads until this week. For years, state lawmakers in both parties resisted them, saying they invade the privacy of people who've done nothing wrong. Representative Pricey Harrison is one of those opponents. It's great when it catches a kidnapping or a stolen car, but less than 1% of all reads involve a crime. And the um, and risk-reward there is, is, you know, not great. The law finally passed last year with little debate, buried in a larger bill at the end of session. It allows for a pilot program for readers on state roads and highways until June 2025. The data from those cameras cannot be sold or used to enforce traffic laws. It has to be deleted within 90 days. Harrison has serious concerns about how the data will be used. They're predominantly placed in um, black and Latino neighborhoods. So you get a little bit of bias in there, too. But Balin says adding cameras on state roads, especially highways, will make a big difference. When folks commit a crime, they don't stay within the same jurisdiction. They travel and they have to get on and off highways. So having these cameras on state roadways really helps it expand the network of cameras. The State Bureau of Investigation will manage the program. The agency declined an interview. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh. No word on when the state will choose a vendor. It's likely to be months before the new license plate readers are in place.